Hey my beautiful YouTube fam, it's Naya Nappy and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are focusing on week five. Can you believe it? Week five of our Ayurvedic hair challenge. Now this week is all about cleansing our hair and of course we'll be using my Ayurvedic Oat and Aloe Shampoo Bar, y'all. This has amazing properties, healing properties from the oats, the aloe, the neem, the amla powder in this. This is a great shampoo bar. It leaves your hair cleansed without feeling stripped. But don't worry if you guys don't have that. I do have some other options for you guys. And you can make this using Ayurvedic herbs. I'm talking about using Shikakai and Amla powder. Now I have a video on this particular cleanser. Use half a cup of Shikakai with a quarter cup of Amla powder and then about two cups of water. But again, you could use tea or aloe to whatever you like. Um, you shake that up and then you put it on your hair to cleanse your hair. It does give you a little bit of sudsy effects from the saponins in the Shikakai. You do want to avoid getting this in your hair. I also have another great alternative for you guys and this is in my homemade shampoo video. This one includes hibiscus, shikakai, neem, and hatataki powder and you use this along with some xanthan gum and humectants like honey and glycerin to form a wonderful gentle cleansing shampoo for your hair. Um, again, you're using these particular Ayurvedic herbs to cleanse your hair and get rid of any dirt and grime. And y'all, can I just say how important it is to really cleanse your hair or shampoo your hair with either surfactants or some potents. Now, these particular detergents are meant to help remove dirt, sebum, and buildup from your hair. Now, we all produce a natural sebum from our hair. This is very normal. And bacterium, and in particular, a special little microfauna that loves to live and breed on our scalp. And the more sebum, dirt, and oils that you have on your scalp, the more it feeds on your scalp and can cause issues like dandruff, dermatitis, certain forms of bacterial infections that may lead to severe issues on your scalp. So this is honestly why we want to really make sure that we are removing these oils and dirt from our hair using either surfactants or things that contain saponins that gently cleanse and remove those toxins and dirt and bacteria from our hair so it doesn't breed to other scalp issues over time, okay? So I know a lot of you guys were like, okay, we just shampooed our hair last week with our deep conditioner and maybe you're feeling a little bit hesitant on shampooing your hair this week. Um, for me, I just want you guys to know that I do cleanse my hair actually weekly. Uh, someone with low porosity hair, I also work out. I produce a lot of sebum in my scalp and I need to get rid of it. My scalp gets itchy. I also have eczema and I, if I don't cleanse my scalp properly, my scalp will be a flaky hot mess so um, if you guys uh, want a nice pre poo treatment today I'll give you guys a pre poo treatment before we use our shampoo bar but I just want to note that the shampoo bar is very moisturizing on its own it's not gonna strip your hair of all its properties and we'll talk a little bit about that later while I'm shampooing my hair but let's go ahead and make an easy pre poo that you can use at any time even though y'all let me tell you my hair still feels amazing from last week's session but you know we are on this challenge and so I'm gonna rock with y'all on this okay all right so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna begin with one tablespoon of coconut oil if you hate coconut oil you can use babasu oil or argan oil followed up with my stimulating Ayurvedic oil and I opted for the one without coconut oil in it for this recipe um, you can use whichever one you have and then we'll be adding one tablespoon of castor oil. Now y'all, if you notice, I'm using oils that can penetrate the hair shaft. And following up, I'm going to use aloe vera powder. Y'all know how moisturizing this powder is for my hair and a great way to add moisture before we cleanse our hair. Now, since the coconut oil is now melted, I'm going to quickly add this to a double boiler on the stove for about two to three minutes. The coconut oil should immediately melt and then we are ready for application. All right, so we're gonna go right in on our dry strands. Now we really focus on oils that can penetrate the hair shaft. In particular, we're gonna talk a little bit about coconut oil, even though it is probably one of the most hated oils. Um, Babasu oil has very, very similar properties to this, but this particular oil can actually help prevent high growth fatigue. So when your hair gets wet, your hair expands as water fills it, and then it contracts again when it dries. Now this over time can weaken the hair shaft from constant expansion and contraction while shampooing and cleansing our hair. 
So by adding coconut oil to our hair strands, this oil can bind to the proteins in the hair shaft, preventing fewer water molecules to bind to the hair so less swelling occurs. Coconut oil is the only oil right now that has been proven to protect against hyaluronic fatigue by preventing swelling. Another way to prevent this is also to dry your hair as quickly as possible, which means don't leave your hair wet for hours and hours on end. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair into four sections and then twist it up and get ready to steam this. Now you can either use a hot cap or steam for about 30 minutes. Okay, so my 30 minutes are up. My hair feels absolutely amazing. Very soft, very moisturized, and ready for our shampoo process. Also, y'all, look how stretched my hair is just from twisting it up in those large twists. I'm really excited, and let's go ahead and get started with rinsing our hair. Okay, y'all, so I just want to show you guys that you can cut your shampoo bar in half. You can actually cut it into quarter if you like. I'm using a half piece that I cut a while ago, and we'll go ahead and start that right, focusing it on our scalp. Now, I recommend that you rinse some of the oats off. I'm not, but they can get caught in your hair. Just literally dust them off or, or run them under some water to remove them. And let's just get into a little bit about some of the properties in this particular oat and aloe shampoo bar. Now I formulated this specifically for those who have a dry and sensitive scalp because oats are known for their soothing properties. In particular this recipe contains organic oats and colloidal oatmeal. Now oats are rich in beta glucan which can help stimulate cellular growth in tissue and repairs hair. It can also soothe irritation on skin caused by certain skin issues, rash, or other dermatitis conditions. It also is an excellent film form and improves hair elasticity while moisturizing the hair. Now y'all know I also had to add omelet powder. We've spoken about omelet so much because it has wonderful properties for fighting hair fall. And then there's the wonderful herb neem. Y'all know I'm obsessed with neem. Neem has wonderful antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory properties, good for healing skin issues. Um, fighting dandruff, psoriasis, and dermatitis. And lastly, we use bentonite clay, which helps to trap and remove dirt and build up from our hair. Now this particular bar is rich in saponified oils, such as olive oil, aloe butter, shea butter, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. This creates a nice, wonderful filming effect, but also with the addition of some of the other properties does not strip your hair. Now if you missed it, in the other video I mentioned how early in my journey I did not cleanse my hair often, but now I'm a really big advocate, especially if you are dealing with particular scalp, scalp or skin issues, to make sure that you cleanse your hair on a regular schedule. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be weekly like my schedule, but it needs to fit your routine and it needs to fit your lifestyle. Okay, so I just rinsed out the shampoo. And I want to show y'all how moisturized my hair feels. Um, I know a lot of people are nervous to shampoo back to back, but it's definitely possible when you have the right products. Um, if pre-pooing is for you, I highly recommend it. If you're nervous about shampooing your hair, um, it really does add that extra layer of protection. And now y'all know I'm about to go in with my deep conditioner. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to open a new one because last week I pretty much used up all of that. But um, as y'all know, as I said it before, deep conditioning is an essential part of my regimen. Highly recommend it as part of your healthier regimen. And um, along with, you know, again, locking in moisture throughout the week, uh, using steam while deep conditioning, and finding either LCO or LOC to moisturize your hair strands, okay? All right, I'm just showing you really quick for a five second clip. If you wanna see more, check out our video last week of me using this deep conditioner. But okay y'all, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you have any questions regarding cleansing your hair, using herbs to cleanse your hair, please leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to comment if you are in the challenge on the YouTube video 
or in the Instagram hashtag NIAN Ayurvedic Challenge. That way I will pick another two winners for this week's giveaway. And I'll pick a winner here and I'll pick a winner on my Instagram Live on Sunday at 1.30 when we have our YouTube Live. But that's it for this week. Don't forget to share it with any of your friends and subscribe to anybody who's new to Ayurveda who wants to learn about Ayurvedic herbs, who wants to incorporate them in their hair. This is the perfect challenge to kind of like piece by piece introduce something new to the regimen, see how the hair responds. As y'all can tell, my hair is flourishing from this challenge. Some long, strong, and healthy hair. But that's it for this week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.